Kissing between actors in scenes should be no big deal, but it's often awkward and without intimacy guidelines can feel unsafe. Additionally, this is also how you can get some very bad stage kisses. Today, I'm going to introduce my top tips on how to approach kissing in theatre. <laughs> When we talk about intimacy in theatre, people automatically think about kissing scenes. Now, we know there's much more to intimacy, but let's jump into my top tips for directing kissing in theatre. 1. Avoid blocking open mouth kisses. In theatre, 99% of the time, closed mouth kisses work perfectly fine. 2. No tongues. Make it explicit, and if anyone crosses this boundary, then they should be dealt with quickly and proactively. Crossing this boundary shows a lack of respect, and they do not deserve to work on your show. Everyone is replaceable. Don't disrespect the other actor by letting them stay. 3. Outline any kissing requirements in your audition pack. Not all actors are happy to do kissing scenes. Don't waste your time or theirs. 4. Use your placeholders if an actor is sick at rehearsal. An actor's health should always be prioritised. And if they're sick for a show, you will need to modify your blocking. Five, remind your actors about hygiene. They owe it to the other person to have fresh breath. Six, with your actors, try developing an understanding of the purpose of the kiss to avoid the kiss shortening or lengthening during the rehearsal process. And finally, when running your intimacy blocking for the first time, don't add in the kiss. Make sure your movement is solidified first, then add the kiss in as a peck before moving on to the full kiss. As a director, there's lots to consider when planning your blocking for a kiss. Here's some ideas. What level of touch should the kiss use? How many beats do they kiss for? Where are their hands? Do they have one destination or do they move to a second destination? How close are they? Have they closed distance completely or is there still space between their chest and the front of their pelvis? Which way do their heads tilt when they close distance between their lips? Do they make noise? Who has the power and is there a way to show it? If it's a long kiss, do they change position? There's a lot to think about, but just because you've blocked it one way doesn't mean it can't change if it doesn't tell the story you want it to. Thanks for joining me again on Music and Theatre Education. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe and share this with your theatre friends. Today, I will leave you with something I heard recently that really resonated. Intimacy should look dangerous, but feel safe.